BBC News. The US Secretary of State has welcomed the release of five Americans from prison in Iran. Antony Blinken said it could mark the beginning of the end of the nightmare suffered by prisoners who'd been wrongfully detained. It's thought they will be freed in exchange for five Iranian prisoners held in the US and the unfreezing of billions of dollars of Iranian assets. Ivory Coast says a thousand of its soldiers will join an international force that's been put on standby to intervene in Niger following last month's coup. President Alassane Ouattara said the regional bloc ECOWAS was determined to restore Niger's elected president. President Biden has declared a major disaster in Hawaii, where wildfires on the island of Maui have killed at least 36 people. The governor said it was the deadliest natural disaster in Hawaii for generations. Within the past few minutes, he said he expected the number of deaths to increase significantly. Ecuador has requested help from U.S. federal agents to investigate the killing on Wednesday of a presidential candidate. Fernando Villavicencio was shot dead at a campaign event in Quito. The Biden administration has asked the U.S. Congress to authorise another $20 billion in support for Ukraine. Most of the money would be spent on military aid. The U.S. Supreme Court has blocked a settlement that would protect the billionaire owners of a pharmaceutical firm from being sued for deaths caused by opioids. Under the deal, the Sackler family would be shielded from legal liability. Scientists believe they are close to uncovering the existence of what they describe as a new force of nature. At the moment, the working of the universe is explained in terms of four fundamental forces. BBC News.